All right, what's going on guys, Willis Gaming here. We are back again with another Destiny 2 video. So the update uh, just went live, kind of a little uh, hot fix. Uh, in this video, we're going to be going over the hotfix, all the stuff they've changed. Um, we're going to actually be taking a look at some of the new uh, vendor houses or the vendor bases that are actually located in the tower. Uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, before we do anything, obviously you know I'm doing the giveaway for the Legendary Edition of Destiny 2. All you have to do to enter that is drop a like on the video, drop a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure to go enter through the Gleam link in the video description. But yeah, as you can see, if you look on the uh, tower map here, if we bring that up, uh, you're actually able to see the vendor uh, locations or the faction. Why do I keep calling it vendor? The faction <laughs> location. So we got Dead Orbit and Future Walker on the right. And we've got the new monarchy on the left. So let's actually go over to the left so we can get uh, two birds with one stone. And then we'll go over and visit new monarchy. But I want to know you guys what faction you guys are going to be choosing tomorrow. So let's actually talk about uh, the factions while we run over this way. So you can pledge uh, to a faction vendor. Pledging places a buff on the player's character for the duration of the event associating the character with the faction. Um, you can earn faction reputation tokens uh, by destroying enemy resources in lost sectors. That's pretty cool. You can do it from completing public events, completing strikes, completing crucible matches, and the Leviathan raid. Um, as you can see, we're by the Future Wall Cult. They definitely have the coolest of all of the faction vendor uh, bases. Um, as you can see, they got their own freaking uh, room, which is pretty crazy. But obviously, the vendors aren't here yet because that actually happens in the morning. But obviously, uh, Future Wall Cult Lady is going to stand by here. You can go up to it, get all the weapons and stuff like that. And then I think the Dead Orbit guy is going to be down in this location over by here. In this little uh, shady area. He's under like these uh, tactical tents and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. I know most people are probably going to choose Dead Orbit. Um, most people do. They did in Destiny 1. Uh, me, myself, I'm probably going to be going for a new monarchy just because I like the uh, red. Um, but like I said, if you've got three characters, you can pretty much choose... Uh, one faction for each class. So let's go over some of the uh, other stuff in the update. So uh, you can turn in tokens for reward packages, um, earn faction theme rewards for your faction, uh, help your faction win. The faction with the most rank ups across the game will sell a new weapon at a discounted uh, price for all the faction members. So if your faction is the leading uh, rank ups and all that across the whole game, you're pretty much going to get discounted weapons. So we know what's going to happen. Uh, Dead Orbit is going to have the cheapest weapons uh, all of the time. So we're going over to the new monarchy. Let's see what fancy uh, base he has. Uh, there were also a lot of other updates, which I'll probably leave down in the video description and stuff like that. But there was a bunch of uh, fixes for clan XP and stuff not being granted for completing public events. Uh, players who leave a clan will still not be able for clan rewards this week, so they fixed that as well. There was a bunch of stuff fixed for Eververse as well, with bright engrams and stuff like that. Anything interesting we want to see? Call to Arms! This is actually a cool change. Uh, they reduced the amount of time needed to basically spend in the Crucible completing Call to Arms, but we're at the new Monarchy base. Um, I'm not actually sure if they're just taking the piss right now, but at the moment it looks like it's just a towel. Is, is that it? Does he stand in here? I'm guessing he stands in here. See, so it's got the new monarchy boxes. So I'm guessing he's going to stand here. So this was kind of already like pre-built for him. Yeah, that was kind of disappointing, but that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, each place had their own little room, I guess. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We just want to take a look around the uh, new tower, obviously for um, the new faction vendors. Obviously, they're not here. They come in the morning. So, yeah, make sure to keep an eye out in the morning as well, guys. I'm going to bring in you guys the Cade treasure maps. Probably going to be on the Io planet, I think. So, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Ooh. I just got the Borealis from my clan faction. Let's take a look at that. What did it drop at? What did it drop at? 305. Let's go. <laughs> 305 Borealis, there we go. 305 Bond, who? No, okay, 300 Bond. Anyway, what do you think? What do you guys think of my character as well? He looks pretty snazzy, doesn't he? Everyone keeps asking what the shader is. It is the Trials Flawless Shader. You get it from going 7 and 0. And you pretty much you get two every time you go flawless, so I actually collected four from going flawless twice. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to enter that giveaway. 
and I'll see you in my next video. This is Moon Willis Gaming, and peace.